hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in this video i'm going to explain you about unitary matrix in the subject of engineering mathematics one so in this video i'll be explaining about what unitary matrix is what are the properties of unitary matrix along with an example problem okay done so unitary matrix is nothing but any matrix which obeys the condition a into a power theta or a theta is equal to a theta into a is equal to i okay so it has to obey this property any matrix which obeys this property is called as the unitary matrix then what do you mean by a power theta a power or a theta is nothing but transpose conjugate of a that is for a you need to first find out the transpose okay and for this transpose you have to calculate the conjugate got it that is called as the transpose conjugate which is nothing but a theta, a theta. okay for example you have a matrix like a plus ib c plus id and something like a minus ib and c minus id this is the matrix which you have okay now what will be the transpose of this matrix a plus id and this will come here right c plus id and this one will come here that is a minus ib c minus id so this is the transpose right so for this again you need to find out the conjugate conjugate is nothing but what this plus will become minus and this minus will become plus that's all nothing but a minus ID, ib sorry this is b okay and this c plus id will become c minus id and a minus ib will become a plus ib and c plus id okay this is the transpose conjugate you have to first calculate the transpose and then you have to calculate the conjugate from that that is a theta suppose this is a then this is the a theta got it this is about the unitary matrix so now let us see what are the properties of unitary matrix basically the inverse of a unitary matrix is always unitary that is if you take any matrix if you calculate the inverse of this matrix which we have taken here the inverse of this matrix is always unitary got it next product of two unitary matrices is unitary suppose if you multiply two unitary matrices you will be getting a unitary matrix again next is transpose of a unitary matrix so transpose of a unitary matrix is also always unitary got it these are the properties inverse product transpose then next let us see a problem so we have to prove that this matrix is a unitary matrix a is equal to 1 by root 3 1 1 minus i 1 plus i 1 minus 1 this is a unitary matrix we have to prove so how do you prove actually what do you mean by unitary matrix if it is obeying the condition a into a theta is equal to i it is called as the unitary matrix right again and also a theta is nothing but a transpose conjugate so for this what you have to do is first calculate a transpose a transpose is nothing but what 1 by root 3 into 1 this i plus i 1 plus i will come here 1 minus i and minus 1 you need to calculate the transpose first okay uh, don't worry from the next video i will be uh, writing and explaining you uh, for this video i have already written so just adjust with uh, for this video from the next video as i write i'll be explaining uh, so even though if it is taking time it will be more clear for you okay next a theta a theta is nothing but a transpose conjugate we have to do right so here one and minus one will be as it is why because they are not having any imaginary term in that imaginary term or you know it is if it is in the form of one plus root three then it will have a conjugate of one minus root three if it is in the form of one plus i root three it will have a conjugate of one minus i root three so since it is only a single term these two you can write them as it is okay and this is one minus i right so it becomes one plus i and this is one plus i right so it becomes one minus i okay done now what we did we got the a theta now once you get a theta you need to multiply a and a theta okay what is a this one given in the question and this is a theta you need to multiply both of them okay so 1 by root 3 into a and 1 by root 3 a theta so 1 by root 3 into 1 by root 3 what do you get 
you will be getting 1 by root 3 whole square right square root cancel so it's 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 into 1 plus so ma matrix multiplication always it has to be done in this way okay just keep this arrow marks you will understand so this row and this column first row first column you need to write here first row second column here second row first column here second row th second column this here last got it so 1 into 1 it's 1 again plus 1 plus i into 1 minus i that you have to write here done next this one into this one 1 into 1 plus i see 1 into 1 plus i plus 1 plus i into minus 1 got it next so 1 minus i into 1 1 minus i into 1 plus minus 1 into 1 minus i like that you have to do the multiplication again the last one also 1 minus i into 1 plus i minus 1 into minus 1 is nothing but plus 1 only right so here what you will get 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus i into 1 minus i this is in the form of a minus b into a plus b right so which is equal to a square minus b square so what do you get 1 square minus i square 1 square minus i square okay next 1 into 1 is 1 and 1 into i is i so 1 plus i 1 into 1 minus 1 i into minus 1 minus i next 1 into 1 1 minus i into 1 minus i next minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 minus i minus 1 into minus i you will be getting plus i okay so next 1 into 1 1 sorry 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 not 1 into 1 actually it is a minus b into a plus b form so a square minus b square which is nothing but 1 minus i square plus 1 so here 1 minus 1 cancel i minus i cancel here also 1 minus 1 cancel minus i i cancel so what do you have here 1 plus 1 square minus i square so what is the value of 1 min minus i square minus i square is nothing but what is the value of minus sorry what is the value of i square it is minus 1 so it becomes minus of minus 1 so what you will get you will get 1 right so here it is 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is nothing but 3 got it and here it is 0 and this also you will get 1 plus 1 is 2 and minus i square is nothing but plus 1 again so you will get 3 here okay so now let so us see you get 1 by 3 into here you will get see minus of minus 1 is nothing but i you have i square here right 1 plus 1 plus minus i square and here it is 0 0 and again 3 so 3 0 0 3 you will get 1 by 3 into 3 0 0 3 okay so when you divide this 3 with all the elements in the matrix it becomes 3 by 3 0 by 3 0 by 3 3 by 3 3 by 3 is nothing but 1 again 3 by 3 is nothing but 1 0 by 3 is obviously uh, what do we say 0 only so 1 0 0 1 you get which is a nothing but the identity matrix okay i2 is nothing but identity matrix of order 2 okay got it so hence it is proved that it is a identity matrix got it this is how you will be proving that the given matrix is a unitary matrix once you get a into a theta is equal to i you can say it as a unitary matrix okay so that's all for this video i hope this video helped you in the next videos we will be discussing about the rank of a matrix how to calculate the rank of a matrix